Who are you? I am placing blocks in shape because I'm in the fucking Minecraft. The Minecraft movie. Most people hate it. I sort of like it. I think the llama is so goofy. But this building right here, I want to build it. So first I need the textures of the world to look more like the Minecraft movie. For this I'm going to be using the textures Theo Monty used in his video where he copied every texture in the Minecraft movie trailer. I recommend going watching it, I'll leave the link in the description. Alright, I'm equipping the texture pack now. Oh gosh, what is that? Alright. Is that... <laughs> Alright, I'm not only going to be building the house, I'm going to be building the cliff it's on as well. I'm going to be trying my best to replicate the hill with Axiom, which is a building mod in Java Minecraft. You can't get this on Bedrock, but I can change this to sandstone and then I can just pretty much uh, sculpt like this. Alright, I've got the shape almost correct, I just need to make this ledge a bit bigger to put the house on. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that cliff. You also notice there's a bunch of foliage in the cliff, so I guess I can just do that in the form of these leaves. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> Why does it look so bad? Anyway, I can scatter these all around the cliff. Alright, that foliage looks pretty okay. Now I want to start work on the house itself. Alright, so looking at the house, it seems to just be built out of stone and wood. Wait a second. Is that... Is that vertical slabs? What is this? Vertical slabs confirmed question mark. All right, so now I'm gonna build the house I'm not sure if it's Steve's house or like Herobrine's house or something Um, I don't even know if Herobrine's in the movie But the house seems to mainly just be built out of stone and wood and I'm Not even sure what block that is for the roof. So first I gotta figure out a shape for the building It seems to sort of be like this Um, This is like the tower part I feel like the tower and the building uses smaller than one by one meter blocks in the movie. So this building isn't going to be as long as it looks in the movie. Alright, so I don't really know where the wood beams are placed on this side of the building, but uh, this is sort of where they're placed on this side of the building. So now I'm going to build up the tower. Alright, so I've had to use stairs instead of vertical slabs. I think it works fine. So I can see this little structure that comes out of the tower a little bit. So that's what this is here. Um, there's no texture for the trapdoors, so I'm just using an oak trapdoor. Alright, from this little building, there's like a little path that goes out onto this area here. Actually, I think it's like that. And then the path continues along this way. Um, and then there's like this sort of bridge that's over here. Um, but I'm going to continue working on the tower. Alright, on the tower, there was a second path layer that goes onto the second path that goes over the bridge. A uh, little hard to explain, but you can see in the image what it looks like and how I've how I'm replicating it. I also notice on the side of the tower there's these little poke hole windows, so I've just done some upside down stairs for that. All right, the tower has these sort of windows that poke out, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna repeat them all the way around the tower. All right, now finally for the tower, it needs a roof. I think for the roof color, it is made out of sandstone, but um. It's sort of a hard texture to look at, so I think instead of sandstone, I'm just going to do jungle because it is a lot easier to look at than that texture. <laughs> Alright, this is sort of what the roof looks like. At the top, there's a flag, so I'm just going to just gonna do it like this. Um, I, I'm not sure if I should add a banner onto the top of that, but um, yeah, that's the tower done. Next, I've got to do the rest of the wall and then the bridge. Alright. I've done this area and I've also moved this over one block so it's more centered with the middle of the tower. I'm realizing anyone could make this, like this is a really easy build to make. For some reason on the bridge part there's this double rail area. I'm not too sure what that's about but I'm trying to make this as accurate as possible so I've had to add that. Alright, I sort of zoned out and I actually think everything is finished. I replaced these fences uh, for trapdoors, so I could put these fences here because there's like these uh, there's like these little fenced areas here. I'm not really sure what they're for, but they're just a part of the design. So I've included that in. I've also added the tunnel underneath the bridge. But yeah, I actually think this is finished. There's still a few minor details I gotta do, like just add some foliage here because it looks like there's some foliage there, and some and some here as well. The scaling in the Minecraft movie. 
uh, compared to Minecraft is a bit wacky. So there was some things that was hard to do. This is what it looks like with shaders on and also similar angle. You can see the cliff in the video is a lot bigger, like the blocks are like bigger than a meter, definitely. So it isn't completely accurate, but I don't think you could do it completely accurately, just with the way they've done it in the movie. But I still think it's good. Oh my gosh, I forgot I'm Jack Black. Here's a quick time lapse of me building the building. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, since I don't know if it's Steve's house or... Alex's house or not sure Herobrine's house. Actually, I don't think not sure Herobrine will be in the movie. Um, but yeah, I'm showing this because I was only taking clips between building this and I wasn't like showing like much of the process of me building it. But yeah, that's why I feel like it's important to show this time lapse. Um, and yeah, I, th I think it's pretty nice building. <laughs> I mean, Minecraft could have done better with this. Oh, and this is a stock image of an orangutan. It's a Shutterstock image. And this is a video from Chaotic Craft on an orangutan enclosure, which is really cool. And this is a Minecraft panda textured as an orangutan. I just thought this was really cool. And, um, Oh yeah, this is like a really chill looking orangutan, um, and this, yeah, here he is. This is a happy orangutan, so if you like happy orangutans, you should like this video. Yeah, so I think this is pretty accurate, and I'm pretty happy with it as well. Um, I probably could have put some more time into the sandstone cliffs, and I think it would have been better if the texture was just one of the blocks rather than all of the blocks. But I'm not the one who made the texture pack, so I shouldn't be complaining too much. I can't wait to see the movie to see how accurate this tower is, or if I've just built it completely wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you did like this video. I'm going to take my face off. Ew. Putting that back on. But yeah, I know this is a short video, so if you want longer videos, I recommend checking out my Whimsycraft videos. It's an authentic vanilla SMP series that's similar to Hermitcraft, so if you like Hermitcraft, I recommend checking us whimsies out. Can't take myself seriously with this Jack Black face on. I also can't take myself seriously with this face. But yeah, if you did like this video, please subscribe. I've got a very bad subscriber ratio from non-subscribers, um, so I'm trying to get more subscribers. If you've been watching my videos and you do like them, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I do really hope you enjoyed, and... Uh, you won't see this face again. Maybe. But yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.